So I'm very excited to talk about a brand new feature of um, QuickBooks Accountant 2016. Now this uh, QuickBooks Accountant 2016 came out on September 8th, 2015. And um, this is called Batch Delete Transactions. This is the first time that we have the ability to delete a lot of transactions in Batch. A couple of uh, bullet points before I jump straight into the product is, in this first release, um, you can only delete invoices, bills, or checks. So you cannot delete deposits or credit card charges for the time being. I really hope that they add them in the near future, but for, for the time being, it's just these three. You can filter by pay. You can leave it by all pay, so you can filter a specific pay. Something that's really cool too, you can show and hide transactions that have other linked transactions. So that third bullet point is talking about uh, maybe an invoice that has a payment associated with it, right? or a bill that has a bill payment check associated with it. So I, I thought it's really cool that we can you know, exclude those to make sure you don't mess up the open balance on the other transaction as well. Now you can also filter by transaction date and last modified date like most reports, but we also have the option of enter date. Now this is the first time ever that enter date, this is the original date that the transaction was created, is a usable filter, you know, so before, you only had the choice to work with actual transaction date or the last time you modified it. But it's really cool because now we got the original enter date as an option. So let's go into the uh, tool and show you how it works. So click on accountant and then click on batch enter void transactions. And uh, let me maximize this here. And then this first uh, drop down menu here gives me the choices. So I can either do an invoice, a check, or a bill. Um, I also mentioned that you can uh, do it by payee. So for example, I want to hit the drop down here and look for a particular vendor. Let's say I'm only looking for, let's say, Perry Windows. So I'm going to go up here and look for that one vendor. Now, I don't have a search box there, unfortunately, at least on the first release. So that would be nice if they add that later on. So let me uh, do Perry Windows, select that, and then basically it'll show me every one of the checks I've written for Perry Windows. Now. Uh, up here it says show link transactions. If I actually un un uh, uncheck that, um, it doesn't show uh, it doesn't show any transactions because all the transactions are actually, actually linked. So when I click on that, um, then it shows me all the transactions that have a link. And by link, they mean there's uh, another uh, bill associated with it. So when I click on, for example, the second bill here, it says that the link transaction is a bill. But when I go all the way down here it gives me the list. So there's the bill associated with that. So now why did they do this? And, and you know, I was working with the developers uh, as one of the beta testers when this product was, was put together. And, and the reasoning for that is because if you delete a transaction that has a, a link, um, you're not just going to get rid of that check. You're also going to get rid of that accounts payable that was already uh, you know, taken care of by creating that payment. So by doing that, it's just making you aware that there's another transaction. Now, this is not going to delete the link transaction. This is just letting you know um, that by deleting it, there'll no longer be a, a payment against that bill. So let's say I wanted to delete all these. So I'm going to select uh, all four of these very windows here, and I'm going to go into review and delete, and I'll click on that. And then basically it tells me, um, warning, you know, you, once this is done, it cannot be undone. So be very careful about that. That's what the warning is telling you. And then down here, I have the option to either back up the file first before I delete it, or just go straight to delete. So I'm going to click on delete only. And then it gives you one more warning, right? So that's pretty cool. I like that you got double warning system. And I'm going to click on yes, and it's going to go ahead and delete those three transactions. Now at the very end, I can click on the report. And I can actually print this out if I would need to have it for my records or whatever. It lets me know what I batch deleted. Um, okay, so let me close that. Let me go back into the tool and then show you what else you can do with this. So let's say I want to delete some uh, invoices. Okay, and let's say I, I don't want to filter by customer job. I want to uh, just look for something that was created, let's say, this month or something like that. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'll, I can uh, choose all here. We don't need to do a date filter. And then I'm just going to use the sorting. So I'm either going to sort by last modified date or I can sort by customer or uh, whether it's paid or unpaid. I really wish there was a, a filter uh, for paid or unpaid, but it's, it's just uh, uh, sorting. It's still useful, though. I, I believe it's still useful. And then here, transaction date, this is the actual date of the transaction, whereas the enter date was the original time 
where the transaction was created and last modified day was the last time that it was changed in any way. So let me go back here into the open invoices and then I'm going to go ahead and select a whole bunch of invoices that I want to uh, go ahead and, and delete. In this case, I'm going to use a different example. I'm going to use the void example and then I'll show you how that's useful. Now look at the linked transactions here. I have a payment. I have in this one, I have a payment and an estimate. So I actually got two linked transactions one posting and one non-posting. Let me use the other option here, which is review and void. So a little bit different than delete. Delete gets rid of it completely from the system. What void will do is, is move them down to zero. So I'm gonna click uh, review and void, and then there's all the transactions. And there's an awesome thing that they QuickBooks added here. Into it did an awesome job with this. There's a memo. So now what I can do is, I'm not just going to void the transaction. I'm also gonna add a memo and explain why I voided it. So I can sit, say, and go to, you know, reviewed invoices with John, let's say John's the manager or whatever, review invoices with John and decided these were duplicates, something like that, right? Um, you yeah, know, so this is, a, uh, this is a real useful piece about voiding instead of deleting because if you avoid it, uh, you don't delete the record, the record's there, but it's not going to affect my accounting at all. So I'm going to, again, I have the choice to back up or just go straight into void. I'll click on void. It gives me a warning message. I love that. And then I can, again, I can see the report there of everything that was voided. But, you know, I can double click on any of these and it'll take me to the transaction. Let me double click on the transaction itself. It'll take me to the transaction. However, it's a bunch of zeros because that's pretty much what a void does in QuickBooks. And then there's my memo. Review the invoices because we decided it was duplicate. So all in all, I give this feature uh, two thumbs up. I think it's uh, it's really, really cool. Um, as I mentioned before, I really wish it could do a little bit more like uh, like filtering by, by account or filtering whether it's paid or not or adding a couple of more features up here. That would be nice uh, into it. Uh, hopefully, we'll do that maybe in the next release or in the next couple of months in one of the updates. But uh, I think so far, so good. I would love to see deposits. <laughs> I think those are commonly needed to be deleted at some point in the future um, because, uh, you know, checks, uh, invoices, and bills, I believe, are a little bit limited, but deposits and credit card charges would be the next great thing. Uh, anyway, that was uh, batch delete. Anyway, that was batch delete transactions for the new QuickBooks Accountant 2016. By the way, this also works in QuickBooks Enterprise, but it must be 2016. Pro and Premier will not work. You need to have QuickBooks Account in 2016 or QuickBooks Enterprise 2016. So Pro Premier, online and Mac do not have this feature.